tables and chairs, useful things made from softwoods. So are spring clothes pegs. Did you know you can turn wooden spring clothes pegs into crocodiles? How? I'm glad you asked. You'll need to start with 12 of these wooden clothes pegs. There they are there. And then you'll need to separate each of those clothes pegs into its two halves. You can do that with a little bit of practice just by pulling it part of the way open and then sliding one half off and then removing the spring and you have two halves and those are the bits that you'll need. Well, you're starting with 12 wooden clothes pegs. How many halves will you get? You're right, 24. I've done that already. There we are. And those are the building blocks to make a crocodile. Now to begin with, you'll need to group them. You put them into, first of all, groups of three. Those will be the body of the crocodile. And you'll need four groups of three. That will account for half of your clothes pegs. Two of them, they'll form the bottom half of the body. And another two rafts of three will form the top half of the body. And then we come to the head. For the head, you'll need two pairs of two. There's one pair of two and another pair. You'll notice that I'm lining them up carefully so that all the grooves coincide. Now, for the tail assembly, you'll need a pair and then another one which you'll glue on top in that position there. So those are the basic building blocks. The legs of the crocodile, you guessed it, four separate clothes pegs. So that's it. Now, they won't stay together just sitting there. You'll need to get some glue. Use a glue that is very good for sticking wood, and I find this white PVA glue is just ideal. So you run a little bit of that along the side of one of the pegs, or half pegs like that, and then take another one and press it down on top. There we are. And then do the same thing again. This is to make a raft of three, one of the body sections run it along there. One of the beauties of this PVA glue is when it dries it goes clear so it doesn't matter if you spill a bit over the edges. There we are. Press it down and I find that it's useful to let the whole thing stand up on its side to dry. Then the little bobs that fall out won't stick the whole thing to the bench or the table. Do the same thing with all the other modules or components and sections and you'll end up with the bits that you need to start assembling your crocodile. Well I've done that too. Here we are. There's a body section glued and secure. There's another body section, there's a head section, and there's another head section. And there's the tail section, three pegs glued together. Well, here's the base of the body, and you'll notice that I did need two other things, ice cream sticks. Actually, I needed a whole ice cream stick and about half an ice cream stick. What I've done is use the whole ice cream stick to glue the two bottom halves of the body section, and the half an ice cream stick pokes out and the head will attach to that. Underneath, you'll notice that I glued the four legs and I've got them pointing forward slightly. Now, we need to put the head on the head end. I'll start with the lower jaw. To do that, I'll put a dob of glue on the lower jaw here, then bring it up underneath the ice cream stick and hold it in position. Now, when you do all of the gluing, you'll find that you need to hold the bits in place for about five to ten seconds and then with this sort of glue it'll probably stay there. If you have any trouble with it, put a rubber band around the pieces and that'll keep it all in position until it dries. Now, top half of the body, well, dob of glue along the centre of this little raft of three clothes pegs. There we are. And that goes in position there and sticks to the ice cream stick. Back half of the body same thing, a bit of glue down the centre clothes peg. Because the other two are already glued to it, the whole thing will stay in one piece, and that goes in that position there. Now the tail assembly, just as easy. A little bit of glue in this position here, between those two clothes pegs. There we are. And that goes on the back end of the body. There. And then the top half of the head. One more little dob of glue down here. And that's ready to give our crocodile some shape. There we are, you're starting to recognise it now, aren't you? It certainly looks a little bit like a real creature. There we are. What would make it look even more real? You're right, a pair of eyes. Well, you can use drawing pins or thumbtacks if you like. I prefer to use these little eyes that you can buy from the craft store. I've got a dob of glue on the back of each of them. And by the time all of that glue dries, 
we're going to have an interesting little fellow. There he is, a crocodile. If you wanted, you could paint him with coloured pens or you could leave him his natural wood colour. That crocodile looks for all the world as if it's sitting at the side of the river about to jump in. This other one, which is completed, has its legs backwards. I guess that one's swimming in the river. You'll have a lot of fun turning clothes pegs into crocodiles.